Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to export uh, Exelon drill data uh, to the PCB fabricator. So this is uh, normally a, a, a list file that shows you all the XY coordinates and all the different drill sizes for your holes. So you can kind of produce like a manufacturing drawing. I've got something here. I use uh, the NC drill chart. So I'm adding the drill charts to give me all the different figures, which then corresponds to the figures on the, on the actual PCB. This is actually controlled under... Uh, so if we look under manufacture, we can do a customized drill table where we can look at the different drill sizes, sort the characters out, the sizes, etc. Once that's done, we can then use the manufacture create drill table to make all the different drill charts. And that would give me effectively, so I've got, um, I've got some blind and buried vias here, I've got some countersink holes, uh, and I've got some basic through hole vias uh, top to bottom. I now want to output that information um, in the drill file. So if we go to the export menu, we've got NC parameters, NC drill, and NC route. So NC parameters first. These are the parameters or settings we would use um, for the actual uh, X drill file. So the things to look at, the important thing, the format. So this is the number of uh, decimal places before and after the, the, the decimal place. So two before, five after. So if I've got a PCB that's more than 99.99999, Obviously, this would fail, so I'd have to make sure that this was uh, set accurately. So, really, if you set this to something like three and four, um, I'm using decimal places to, uh, uh, or I'm using a, an accuracy to four decimal places. So, three before, four afterwards would give me 999 point, and then four nines after the decimal place. Uh, check the units um, that ties in with the design you're using. So, I'm using a metric design here. And then I'd always enable effect with the enhanced Exelon format to get me the correct Exelon file um, when we output. We'll click OK to that. Then we can look at manu uh, export NC drill. This is actually to go and create the drill file. So what's the name of the drill file? I would always enable auto tool select. So you've got different options for kind of layer pairs. And if you want to include a counter drills or back drills, if you're using that type of technology, um, you can actually launch the parameters form from this button as this form as well. Uh, but we don't need to here. So we'll just click on drill and then the NC drill file then gets created. And if we go and look at a file explorer window, let's go and bring this up. So I effectively get, um, I get three different drill files, one for the one to six, which is the through hole drills, the blind and buried vias, and then my uh, counter bore or counter sink holes. And if I open these with a text editor, Um, you can see there's the, the list of all the tool sizes here and then all the XY coordinates.